And my name is Nytia Dixon. I am a first time video user of YouTube. So yay! I want to welcome you all. If you will all go to the bottom and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, the Lord has placed some things on my heart, in my spirit. And um, the reason why I'm doing this YouTube channel is um, God placed on my heart. Um, it's for singles and whoever else that wants to watch it. Um, God, the name of the, the title of this YouTube channel is God, when is it my time? God, when is it my time? So, of course, you know, I'll be talking about relationships, singles, you know, waiting and the people that are getting frustrated. Um, I myself, I am 31 years old. I am single. And um, I just want to let you know that I relate to you all. I, I totally get it. I understand that, you know, you feel lonely. You feel left out, you get bored, you get frustrated because it seems like every year that you are still repeating the same cycle of singleness. Every year you're still spending holidays by yourself. You don't have a you don't have a husband or, or children. I, um, I understand that sometimes you feel like that, hey, um, I'm either financially stable now, um, I'm ready, um, I think I have what it takes to be that wife or a husband um, and it's okay to have a list I myself used to have a list I used to pray over that list but uh, my question is are you preparing for what you're praying about everything on that list do you think that you can meet the same things the same needs that you're looking for in a spouse do you think you are ready to uh, submit ladies this is for the ladies ladies are you think do you think that you are ready to submit do you think that you're ready to share because you can't go into marriage with that one mindset of that self-centered because when once you're married you know it's not a it's just not about you so that self-centered you might as well you know get that out your head because you enter into something that's very you know prioritized of course um you enter in something totally different. Like, it's not about you. Things is going to change. I'm just going to say that. Things going to change. And after so long, you're going to have children. You have to be ready for that. Um, not only that, why are you in your single waiting? Um, are you doing what God called you to do? Are you focused on the Lord and the things that he's birthing out of you, which is called a purpose? He all called us to a purpose. Are you... You know, do, do you want God for his hand or just, or do you want his heart or do you just want his hand? Are you really focused on doing what he called you to do that, you know, everything else, all the distraction, like that distraction, you have to, you know, eliminate distractions. Um, also, we all know the book of Ruth. We, we all know that story with the Boaz when Ruth worked in Boaz field. If you notice in that scripture, I think it was chapter two and you will read it said that she went to Naomi and she asked to work in that field. She, there's nowhere in there saying that she was distracted. She was not looking to the right or to the left. She was not worried about a mate. She was really focused on being obedient to the Lord. She was focused on doing her work. She even asked when she was in the field working afterwards. She asked, is there something else that I need to do? What else can I do to, you know, make, to make sure that I'm showing a, a great work ethic? She was so focused on work and she was, which, which was her purpose, what God called her to do. She was not distracted at all. So um, to you all, what I'm saying is, are you so busy focused on work and making sure you perfecting your work, making sure that you are being obedient, doing what God called you to do? Because you, let me tell you, just because you enter into a relationship um, that man can't feel your every void. The only person that can feel that void is God. Um, you can't find contentment and happiness in something that's of the world because that, that only come with God alone. You should find contentment with love and joy within Christ alone because if you find that in Christ, no one else can take that away from you. So with that being said, <clears throat> you know, you need to get somewhere and either pray fast Spend more time with God. Trust me, I get that. It's times where I got frustrated. It's time where I would question God. Um, I know that we see um, 
other relationships, other marriages uh, posting on social media and it all looks good. And we say in our head, oh, I want that. That looks so good. I can't wait till it's my time. I'm so ready to receive that love. But at the same time, are you ready? Um, is that the only time when you talk to God is when you want a relationship? Is that the only thing that you want out of life is a relationship? Because if you can't get busy or focus with um, if, if, if you can't do the things God called you to do, you know, just with you being single, then by you enter, enter into a relationship, that means it's counterfeit. You really don't want to do it. Basically, basically, you're saying that I can't get this done unless I have another, unless I have a mate, unless I um, get in this relationship, this man can help me get here. No, baby, sweetheart, you're not reading the right Bible. You're not reading right. You're not it sounds like you're not fasting. It sounds like you're not in the presence of the Lord because it's not going to work. It's going to fail because you're doing it for the wrong reason. Honey, you was, when you was born, you came into this world by yourself. You're going to leave it by yourself. Honey, we are individual. He called us all to do something different individually, not get in a relationship then start your purpose no you need to be working right now you need to be doing it now find contentment and joy in your singleness right now because by you getting a mate i mean what's really the difference he can't fill that every boy let me tell you you can be in a room full of uh, uh, it can be a hundred people in that room and you still can feel lonely and empty and can't nobody feel that but god so let me take let me tell you my story. Um, I am now 31. I've been saved for six years. I was 26 when I gave my life to Christ. And when I gave my life to Christ, I went to him broken. I didn't have it all together. I didn't do it backwards. I didn't say, okay, let me get all my degrees. Let me get all this. And then I attached Christ to it. No, boo boo. I didn't have it together. I was heartbroken. Let me tell you, I've never been in a relationship. i never been on a date. A, no guy ever asked me out on a date. And I'm not saying that I am a virgin. I'm a born-again virgin, but I'm not really a virgin. So with that being said, I was heartbroken because the guys that I used to talk to, it was they never gave me a title of relationship. They never asked me out at all. The guys that I was talking to, I thought I saw a, a potential that we would enter into a relationship because I thought that maybe that, okay, if I keep talking, if I keep doing for them, maybe they will want to be with me because I'm so nice. And, you know, the world would say that that's very gullible. But um, the guys would hurt me because they would get what they want out of me and they would just disappear. You know, they will only call me when they want something or some from me. And I would give it up because it was that void inside of me. It was that, you know, I need something to fill this because I'm lonely, I'm bored. I don't want to be alone because of my friends around me because I'm looking to the right and I'm looking to the left and I don't want to be, you know, left out or that eyeball. So I would just talk to guys just to say that I'm talking to somebody or I'm having sex just to fill that void, which is, you know, was counterfeit. So with that being said, um, I would get heartbroken. Um, and um, I would get frustrated because I didn't want to continue to keep starting over. You know, I was ready to be in a relationship. At that time in my mind, I was ready because at that time I had, you know, I was doing good, um, working, going to school, just doing everything. I was cooking, doing everything. I was preparing myself, actually. And so with that being said, you know, I'm like, I'm, I feel like that I was getting older. You know, we all have that list. We all have that age frame where we got to be what we think that, okay, if I hit a certain age, I need to be married and have kids by this time. But that doesn't work with the Lord, sweetheart. Let me tell you that. So with that being said, um, again, I was heartbroken. Um, so when I turned 26, I was fed up. I gave my life to Christ. Um, so once I gave my life to Christ, you know, I started, you know, of course, engaging in more in church and reading my Bible and spending time with him, getting around other believers. And during during my first, I say first or second year, I started feeling like, OK, Lord, I think I don't got what it takes. I think I'm ready, you know, for marriage, for a relationship, for children one day down the line. Um, you know, I, I used to just go to God just in prayer for a being in a relationship, just write my little list down. 
I even anoint the list. I, I took my oil to my pastor and I had him to anoint my oil and I will literally anoint that list. You know, I'm trying to speak it into existence. I'm trying to put it into practice, making sure that I'm doing my part. Not only that what I'm asking for, making sure that I'm also being that help me to my one day spouse. So I would anoint it and um, I would find myself getting frustrated. And so one day the Lord had to really, really deal with me. Like he just sup in my spirit. And um, he just told me that it's not about relationship. It's not about, you know, um, trying to get what you want out of it. Just because you pray about it and trying to, you know, anoint it does not mean if it's not for his, if it's not in his will at that time, then it's not going to be. I needed to know, I needed to advance more. I needed to be more in the word. I needed some understanding that a man can't feel my every void. And not only that, that the world just don't revolve, revolve around relationship because I needed to know Christ for myself. I needed to know that I needed his heart more than I needed his hand. Um, so he was showing me areas where I was weak at, areas that I need to work on. And he was, you know, let me know that I need to spend time with him. I need to love him because no one died for me, but him, no one can replace God, but God, no one, no man. I don't care how much a man winding down you down. I don't care how much he do for you. He put a ring on it. No one can pay that high price, but God. So um, I had to really, the Lord had to really deal with me on that. So now here I am, 31, still single, and I spend, I love my singleness. I am content. You have to be content with this. You have to really, really enjoy your time with the Lord. You need to pour your eyes, your, your heart out to the Lord. You need to vent to him, and you need to spend your time spending time with him and making sure that you are being obedient, making sure you are walking into your purpose and that you can do it with him and him only and not trying to drag a, a, a man into um, into what God is calling you to do. Because in actuality, let me ask you something. Do you think why you in your purpose, if God brings you something right now, would you still be focused on what he calls you to do or would you be distracted? Sometimes he do not bring those things because some of us are distracted because we are so idolizing in relationship we are following all these people that are in and that looks like great marriages it seems like everything is going good in everybody else's life but it's like god what about me they're being blessed what about me i've been waiting for so long but let me tell you something your time is coming what you need to be doing is focus on your purpose because you do not want to rush the process trust and believe that you don't want to be in the wrong unhealthy relationship you don't want to be with a guy that's is he first of all is he saved do he know the lord do he love him is he obedient is he is he a leader you know, do he have boundaries when it comes to relationship? Do he respect you? Do he respect those boundaries? You don't want to enter into that and you're going to be heartbroken all over again. You're going to be miserable being with a man that's not of the Lord. You don't want to be with somebody that cannot respect that you're not having sex without a ring. You need to get that ring. You need to be married. He needs to understand that. So ladies, do not pressure that. You don't want to rush into nothing. And men, if you if you feel like you're ready, if you if, if you you know go every time you go to the Lord, every time you go in prayer, you you asking for a relationship, you have a bigger responsibility. Yes, women is the you know take care of the household and you know take care of the children, but men, you have a responsibility. You are a leader. Man, y'all are called to cover us women, cover your marriage, cover your family. You're a leader, you're a provider. You make sure everything is in order. Like you have to literally sit in the presence of God because you have to lead us. You have to make sure you're hearing God correctly to lead your family. So with that being said, you know, let's just focus on God. You do not want to enter into the wrong relationship. Do not rush the process. I'm telling you, you're being obedient. And if you just find your contentment in it, God, it's, it's coming. It's going to come. We serve an almighty God that he would never fail us. He would never forsake us. If he desired it on your heart, it's going to come. So 
I challenge y'all, not even challenge, but I pray that you are all seeking in the presence of the Lord and making sure that you enjoy every bit of your singleness. So I'm hoping that the story, my testimony that I gave y'all is helpful. I found myself being angry at one point, like just upset with God until I got understanding because I started spending more time with him. Even if you have to go on a fast, I encourage you to do so. So I encourage y'all right now to be spending as much time with the Lord and just working on your purpose, doing what he called you to do. So I'm, I'm very glad that you all are watching. Um, I thank y'all again for watching and I hope my story helped. Uh, make sure you subscribe and also um, if you want to find me on social media, I am there. I have a Facebook and an Instagram so go follow me because I do post other things encouraging and etc so my name is nitea dixon on facebook you're going to spell it n-i-t-e-a last name dixon that is d-i-x-o-n my instagram is nitea underscore dixon so make sure you go find me there thank y'all again love y'all i will let y'all know when i be back god bless you Bye bye